Good evening, everyone. I hope you're having a good night. Now, in this video, I'm going to be going over Checkpoint and a bit of a tutorial on how it works. Now, I'm going to explain where you need to place the file to get it working. Now, you need to go to this website right here. I'm going to include a link in the description just for you guys, make it a little easier. Now, once you download the checkpoint.nro file, you will then go to the location you have saved it. And when you have your micro SD card for your Nintendo Switch installed and inserted into your computer, you can then go into the root of your micro SD card and then go into the Switch folder. Now you are then going to copy the checkpoint.nro file you had downloaded from that website and you will copy and paste it over here. Now once you have done that you will be good to go basically. Now in case you do have any issues the folder that has all my saves for checkpoint for backup and restore is called checkpoint and then within that there is a saves file and then that's where everything gets saved within these are automatically made when you create your backup so if you have some complications and maybe this file isn't there then take a look and see. Now if you haven't at least started the game once to initiate a save and pinpoint a location for a checkpoint, it won't look it won't show up as a game in the list that you're able to restore the file to. Your backup to restore it is putting it back onto your switch. So again, once you copy that checkpoint.nro file into the switch folder of your micro SD card. So again, you are going to go into your micro SD, then you will be going to the switch folder. And that is where you will put the checkpoint.nro file. Now, once you have done that, reinsert your micro SD card into your Nintendo switch. And by doing that, you will then use RCM mode and the payload and you will return back into your albums. And again, this switch up here is running on 5.0.2. You will then look for checkpoint within your homebrew apps. And when you go into checkpoint, you will find all your games that you need that you're looking for. Now, you can go into one, say hollow, and then you would click back up. Now, I will have to remove my switch from the dock because to click back up and restore, you actually need to be able to click it manually. So you have to actually click the back up button here, and then you will Click back up and you will pick a name. So I guess it was hollow. So I will pick hollow. It's a little difficult, but I'll do my best. Why am I having difficulty here? Hmm. I'll just push OK. Oh, it's saved. So I guess you just push OK. You may be able to change the file name. I know in the past I was able to. Seemed like it didn't want to there. But you get the the idea. Oh, I'm using the home. I'm using the pro controller, that's why. So we got the pro controller here for navigation. That was the issue there. So I probably could have gone into new. And then gone to backup. And gone to yes. And then see, yeah, I could make a name myself. Could call it hollow. In big capital letters and then 
I should be able to initiate that. Yeah, save successful. Now if I wanted to, I could return to that file and restore it. And I'll do that because I trust it. And when I do end up going back in, Hollow would be good to go. The save will be there. Now remember, if you haven't started the game at least once and initiated a save, you won't be able to see it within this list. Which will obviously be a little frustrating. So now you know that that may be an issue. Now there's a lot more videos to come. Many more things I'd like to speak about to everybody. I am going to be live streaming shortly. Probably going to be playing, um, if I can remember correctly, Layers of Fear on the Nintendo Switch. I'm going to be playing it on a portable projector at about maybe 70 inch screen. And I'm going to be using a custom or a third party dock for that because I do trust it. I do trust my third party dock. I've been using it for a long time, for about two, three months. And as it stands, from what I've been told, the FCC has been stepping in and the Nintendo, Nintendo is supposed to be following through with their warranties. Even if you do use third party products. Now don't quote me on that. I'm not telling you to go out and use those things. But in my opinion it's worth using. Now Checkpoint is really useful. And you should share this with many people. Let them know that their saves can be backed up. You do not have to rely on just Nintendo. Because as it stands we've been waiting around for a long time. Many people have had their switches fall apart, get damaged, they've had no way of getting their save files back. I have seen and heard of numerous people who have sent their Nintendo Switch directly to Nintendo and still was not able to get their save files when they received another Switch or theirs repaired, whatever the circumstances. That's fairly upsetting I'd say. And I'd say that's a little unacceptable for the amount of money we spent for our Nintendo Switches. And all we did was ask for a very long time for the things that we would normally get on other systems. And it seems like those things were being held back on us and we would never see them. And even as it stands, a lot of things that were being promised or being mentioned seem like they're going to be held back. Like a virtual console, for example. I've heard we may not see it without a virtual console or something really feasible how are we actually going to enjoy ourselves now, i don't see how we can purchase all these devices and we can be told exactly what we can do with them if this was a car or anything like that i wouldn't be told if i could change my tires change my rims put a spoiler put some fog lights tint the windows as long as it's legal what's the problem so as long as we're keeping this legal you know I've purchased many games over my lifetime and I gotta say it's not my fault when a game fails to start fails to work or boot up. Let's think of an old Nintendo NES game. Is there a reason why after using that game for many times that I am no longer allowed to use it? Or say some Sega games. I got lots of Sonic games in my collection downstairs and when it comes to that there's no reason why once cartridges start stop working because of regular use, they should have been built at a better standard when they were released. And they weren't. So, for the money we put in, I bought multiple copies of some games. Why should I have to continue to be forced into that? Now, I'm not saying that I condone pirating or anything like that. But if I have invested my money into something, then... Technically, I should get something that will last a long time, not something that if I use frequently for about a year, it may stop working, as I said, an old Nintendo game, an old Sega Genesis game. I hope you like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Keep your save files backed and safe. I would say why not back up your files now while you have the chance. There's a reason to homebrew. This, save files, emulators, there's many reasons. All the best. Take care.